Hey guys, welcome back to the PvP Pet Battle Series, and today we are going to use the Warbot. It was given in to us to use this a week ago, so I have finally got around to doing it. We have accompanying the Warbot, the Darren Horror Runt, and also the Fossilized Hashling. So, while we're waiting to get into the PvP Pet Battle, we will just say, if you want to see a pet in Pet Battles, then please leave in a comment below what pet you would like to see me use in the PvP Pet Battle Series. And we will kill this little crocless while we are waiting. So I was thinking this team is pretty good because it has a lot of AoE. But I could have went for one of the pets that brings one of the pets from the back line into the front line. I.e. an imp or I could have went with a jam bone spider or something like that. So our opponent's team today if it wants to show up. Well I already know it anyway. So it is the terrible turnip, the crawling claw and the mechanical pandaren draggling. So his team's quite strong against our team, which kind of sucks, as you can see there. The elemental terrible turnip is strong against our little missile attack and also our minefield. And also his mechanical dragonling has the lovely, lovely... I can't remember what that attack's called. But it's an element attack that hits every pet and is on a 4 round cooldown, which is kind of annoying. Plus he also has the decoy ability. So that blocks two of my attacks. So I was thinking maybe he was going to switch in one of his pets to block the minefield off. But he never bothered doing that, which is kind of strange. Because that would have been a good time to use it. That's why I just went with missile attacks instead of putting my extra plating on. Which would block 50% of his damage, which would probably be the better option here. And as you can see, he gets a crit off and still hits me for 200 with that damn attack. And it is not good for the Warbot because the Warbot is pretty much dead. But this pet is really, really strong. And going up against any other pet that doesn't have a blocking ability or is weak against would be perfect. So it's kind of unfortunate there. And as you can see, we are now dead, which sucks. So we will bring in our Direhorn Runt here. So our Direhorn Runt is actually quite good. It's the first time I'm actually using the Direhorn Runt in a PvP pet battle, I think. And these pets are really, really strong. All the Direhorns are very, very OP. So we will start off things with a wee charge, because that charge goes off first. It will always hit first. And we will get our horn attack off. So there we go. As you can see, the Crawling Claw is pretty much down in low HP already. So we will get another charge off. And of course, he will heal up, which kind of sucks. And we will... Use our Primal Cry, which will hit the whole back line and him, and will reduce their speed by 25%. So that's pretty good, and it goes for four turns. So that's pretty awesome, and that will give the Horn Attack. It will always usually go first, and that means that we have a chance of mini stunning him, so he does not attack, which unfortunately didn't happen. So we'll get another charge off, and he is back with the Undead Passive which will bring him back to life. So we will switch out to our fossilized hatchling. And I probably should heal up straight away. I think I do heal up straight away here. And he brings out his terrible turnip. If he wants to bring it out, hurry up. As you can see, he was kind of torn on what he was going to use, but he brings out the terrible turnip. And I bone storm. I probably should have healed up instead of bone storming here. It would have given me a bit more health for the later stages of this fight. And as you can see, he's put me down to 200 HP, which kind of sucks. And he is also faster. Thankfully, he does not kill me in this turn. So that means we get another heal off. But he is getting healed because of the least seed ability. And he hits me quite a bit there, which is not good. So we will use our claw attack, but he brings out the Sons of Roots ability, which means he blocks two of my attacks. Plus, he does about 200 damage per turn while he's in this state, which does really suck. So we will just quickly die here. Per old fertilized hatchling, didn't stand a chance. So it's up the Diehorn Runt, and he is still in his Sons of Roots ability. So I thought I'll try Primal Cry, and hopefully it still applies the debuff, but it, it didn't. So we will get our little war charge off here, which does 400 damage, but we are still dead next turn pretty much regardless. As you can see, he crits as well and brings him back up HP-wise. So I've been Boo guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.